Our 2012 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Tactical eyewear, connect for PC, Motorola's Intel phone, Ford's Fusion Energy, cameras, toys, hard drives, Hack5, Bloggy Live. There's a lot going on, people, and some very nice headphones I should have. Welcome to Revision 3 Live from CES 2012. Revision3.com slash CES. That's the website. That's the place to go to get all of our tech partners here at Revision 3. That's where all the content's getting posted up. I think we are over 100 videos now. We may be over 200. We are getting a lot of products and giving you the best news about them that we can. Speaking of news, and yes. the best people. <laughs> Signal host, Anthony Carboni. Hello, sir. YouTube.com slash SGNL. It's a program you that create with Sony. Mm -hmm. You have something called a <clears throat> bloggy live. A bloggy live, Patrick Norton. This is a digital camera. Okay. Yeah. No, so the bloggy, uh, the bloggy series of products has been super popular for Sony. Right. Obviously, just like quick, handheld, good video quality. Mm -hmm. What this one is adding now is Wi-Fi. Ooh. Yeah, so this is super cool. So now That's a theme at the show. Samsung with the cameras, Wi-Fi, you take the devices, picture, yeah. you can embarrass yourself immediately on Facebook and other <laughs> online the, the networks. Zero that to kids the zero to trouble at. speed now is like <laughs> half a second. But this is cool because not only are you shooting videos and then uploading them to Facebook, right. YouTube, stuff like that, it's also going to stream live to quick.com. And that'll stream in SD or HD. So you can be embarrassing yourself instantaneously and live to an audience. So when you're done, you're yeah. gonna walk out, fire quick.com, and just wander through the show floor for hours. I've been recording you all day. That really you don't creeps me it. out. Fortunately, yeah, quick.com slash secret Patrick Norton. No, that's not true. Fortunately, you were not using the Sony Handycam HDR PJ760V, in which case there would be glorious even better video. It's actually the video on that. This is actually really, I should point out, the video is really good for the size of the device. Yeah, absolutely. The bloggies take really good quality. This is uh, 720p30, 720p60, mm -hmm. and then 1080p30. Nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Sony yeah. Handycam, HDR yeah. PGA 760V. This thing is cool. So this right. is not just their new flagship that kind of puts in everything that we saw from them last year. It's got that projector that we saw, the built-in projector. Mm -hmm. They upped the uh, the lumens. It's Ooh. double the lumens now, so it's 20, which is not like, right. you're not like projecting professional stuff, but if you're watching in your living room, right. this makes it a lot easier now. You can attach a speaker to the top now, really? which is great, so the sound gets a little better for you. <laughs> and now it's got this thing, the balanced optical steady shot. Mm -hmm. This thing is insane. When you, you know, a normal steady shot works, moves the sensor or an element in front of the sensor, this thing moves the entire lens assembly nice yeah to uh, to optimize or to stabilize your shot right super cool it looks like wheatley from portal 2 when you're moving it around looks like a happy robot <laughs> eye following you <laughs> yeah exactly i like it yeah it's very cool so uh, when is that shipping this is that's q1 okay so the bloggy live is is now right Handycam is Q1, so i mean about march at the later it's going to be 15.99 okay. when it comes out yeah nice i got to say it but first we go back to some extraordinary <laughs> speakers. Yes. These are gorgeous. They're amazing. These are the SSAR2s, mm -hmm. which I got to see. And this is guy, I, I got to talk to the engineer who created these. He's, he spent years of his life, almost a decade, putting together these speakers. Right. And they're gorgeous, man. They're all made of this like special maple that you can only get in the forests of Hokkaido. And he will It'll only- be the island north of Japan. Yeah. Snows, good snowboarding there. Yeah, uh, mystical creatures, I think. Yes. I don't know what else is going on there. <laughs> Dragons, wizards. But he will only harvest the wood in November. Really? That's the only time the wood is good enough for him. And I understand it takes two months to finish each set of speakers. They hand finish it just exactly the same way. It's mm -hmm. not just called a piano finish. They right. actually finish it the same way they finish a grand piano. So. This is a $25,000 pair of speakers. 27, yeah. 27. Yeah. What is what was the engineer's goal when he was putting these together? He when I was talking to him was like, I don't want to talk to you about frequency response. Right. I don't want to talk to you about specs. I want to talk to you about how I am replicating the emotion that went into music. This guy is hardcore. Yes. Hardcore. Yes. Spending a decade designing a single pair of speakers. Yeah. How did they sound? Sounded lovely. Really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they, uh, they had like a private ballroom party and they had like uh, Wynton Marsalis in or, uh -huh. or Branford Marsalis and uh, like a couple other people just like doing acoustic sets. You know, and instead of like a musicians. PA, yeah, some, just some small some musicians. Guys. And instead of hooking up a PA, they just hooked up a set of these speakers. That's and it impressive. sounded amazing. 
I wish I was there. YouTube.com slash Signal, yeah. which is S-G-N-L. You got a show that's coming out from the CES show floor. Absolutely, and we have tons of segments about these products and all the other stuff Sony released this week. Anthony, good to see you as always. Patrick, thank you, sir. I'll see you on Texilla. Yeah, man. All right. Hey, cameras are all over the place. This is one of my favorite ones I've seen so far. The Canon G1X. This is the new top of the line power shot. They came out with three one of which is three quarters of an inch thick with a 12X lens. Um, I'll tell you what, that is an impressive camera. This one, though, is even more impressive. 790, and by the way, that's the 520 with three quarter inch thick. This is the G1X. There is a 1.5 inch sensor inside of this, bigger than four thirds, almost APS size, based on EOS technology, 14 bit raw captures, ISO 12,800 native. So I'm thinking the low light performance is going to be too good. 4X zoom lens, f2.8 to f5.8. Three inch in the back, the viewfinder is saved, there's a flash built in, there's a hot shoe built in, and it will work with the EOS accessories. I like, this is a nice piece of glass and a very, very nice sensor. $799 shipping in February. And if you want to learn more about the new Canons, uh, the PowerShot Canons, uh, the new Canon PowerShot cameras, all three of them, we got information for that for you at revision3.com slash CES. He needs no introduction. But I'm going to introduce him anyway. <laughs> Darren, hack5.org, security maven, hacker extraordinaire. <sighs> and I, I feel you may be suffering lurking for security gear at CES. Yeah, there's a bunch of security vendors, but like a lot of them are just like, we've got an antivirus. And it's like, oh, good for you. That's uh, nice. I, I don't know. I don't, it just doesn't take my techno lust. Well, are you excited about the Connect for PC? Yeah, that was, the, that was the big Microsoft announcement. Well, that, that, well, you want to talk about hackers. Hackers originally got on the Kinect, right. and we're all like, dude, this is awesome, making and cool stuff. And then Microsoft was like, don't do that. And then they were like, wait a second, you guys are buying Kinect to do cool stuff. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Do the more of the thing. And so $249, shipping February 1st. The official, the thing that really actually makes it for the PCs, they, they made the cable shorter, I like to mock this, Ooh. but they made the focal length shorter. So well, you can so actually did, sit by a monitor. Yeah. So did Nyko at E3 last year with the little thing that sits in front with a wide angle lens, right. well, which it's, I need, because who has eight foot like living rooms? While we are mocking, we should also point out, though, that the, 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 the Kinect is actually responsible for every freaking HDTV manufacturer to show up at CES2. They ship 10 million Kinects, and all of a sudden, every HDTV vendor is like, you need to change channels by wiping from <laughs> yeah, side to side. Yeah. So this is the source of all the obsession with gesture, uh, gesture control. If you don't, gesture control is like changing the channel or fast forwarding and your TV is going to know what this means, right? I would I would show my favorite gesture, but I don't think it's appropriate. This is a family stream. What's your favorite CES find so far? Uh, my favorite CES it's find cable, so far. It's a cable, isn't it? <laughs> How did you know? It is. <laughs> it is. It's a big, purple, awesome cable. This is actually, because it looks like micro USB and HDMI. Yes, and here's the cool thing about this cable. This, while it's illustrating micro uh, uh, USB on this side and HDMI on this side, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the either technologies. This mm -hmm. has, it just uses these two connectors. What uh, this is, is mobile high definition link, mm -hmm. and it's a proposed standard that allows uh, for 1080p video with eight streams of audio for like 7.1 surround over any connector. So it's completely connection agnostic. It uh, was de it was actually debuted in 2008 right. by Silicon Image here at CES, but it wasn't until last year that the working group really started getting things right. to begin to be certified. So this is actually showing up on cell phones now. Well, Nokia, Samsung, Silicon Image, Toshiba, and Sony have all gotten on board with this, and this was just the most wicked thing I saw walking by. Some guy had a, a Galaxy Note, right. right? So he's holding a Galaxy Note and he's playing a. Uh, third person shooter, uh -huh. and on the TV it's showing it. And I was like, just thinking like, oh that's cool, you got some software that does some Is it going to use its, a US, its own USB port? Are there going to be two USB ports, one for power no, and one was, for this? That was or? the most wicked thing, is I, I walked by and he, and he plugged it right into my phone and it charged my <gasps> phone. So it charges my phone, so I'm able to play the game. Nice. This is a great controller, because configure it however you want. On the big TV, now your TV needs to support the standard. My phone, thankfully, supports standard because it's one of the newer Samsungs. Right. Uh, and I'm assuming the ones from Nokia and Samsung and all those others that I mentioned will continue so to in the future. If I walk by your hotel room later, I will hear you gaming oh, dude, on the I'm, TV I'm off of the cell phone. Actually, my hotel has a CRT. <laughs> yeah. But if you don't have it in your TV, though, right. they have this dongle, because who doesn't love a dongle? And this allows you to put in line the charger. Oh, nice. And then this will add MHL support 
to your TV. That's smart. Yeah, this That's is pretty smart. wicked tech. Any idea what the price for the dongle is going to be? The I was told that these are about fifteen dollars retail. Okay. Yeah, that's manageable. So I am going to be playing whatever the Gears of War knockoff is on Android on my TV at home. Let's step up the price a little bit. All right. The uh, and I should probably ask: Did the Vuzik Star make it? The Vuzik Star is here. Okay. With the price point of. Four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Tell me what we're looking here on the screen. Okay, so because they look like stylus. Here is, this is a prototype. These are the smart glasses actually okay. from Vuzix. These will be coming out in maybe Q3 of next year. It's, mm -hmm. This is really out there in the future. And uh, the the cool thing about these is rather than the way that the Vuzix previous glasses have worked, like the the right. uh, Wrap series, which use like LCD projection onto a mirror, or their newer Star series, which use LCD projection onto a beam splitter so mm -hmm. you can see through. These actually use holographic uh, waveguide and they project from the sides. So you can get a lot more stylish than these big honking things over from above. You can get the nice little projectors on the side so that the So it's image essentially a heads up display. Yep, absolutely. And I, I, saw, I, I swear I saw the word tactical in there somewhere, which means I'm using these on a battlefield, in there's, a plane, while I'm driving. Yeah, there's two different versions right. of it, and they're for two different customers. This one okay. right here is just kind of like a prototype. Right. Uh, um, kind of a demo of what the tech might look like. Mm -hmm. And the other one is uh, a monocular display, which is currently already in use from music it's like special forces right. and SEAL teams and things like that. Those are the big flip down ones. Yeah, yeah the, well, no, they've got the, like the little, like you just wear a little pair of glasses and then it's just got the one eye thing over here. And uh, you know, they've, they've shown off demos of like how you can, like people on the field can control predator drones with oh, wow. these. And, things like that. Um, but the nifty thing about this with its shift to the technology of using holographic waveguide is that uh, using just a 1.4 millimeter sheet of glass, they're able to project stuff on there. That's impressive. Yeah. Did, would you actually, did they have any you could put on and demo? Oh yeah, yeah they, well, uh, not of the holographic waveguide stuff, but they do have uh, the wrap and the star over there. The star 1200 came out, uh, uh, I want to say Q3 last year. Mm -hmm. um, but they're also introducing some fun new things for their consumer end stuff. Mm -hmm. The RAP 1200, which is a pair of video glasses that you can um, you can just go and get today for like 500 bucks. Right. They now have a power pack for it that that your iPhone will go into oh, cool. and allow you. And it'll it's got the battery and the whole lot, and it's a nice. You know, the classic just, watch, it's like having a 70-inch projection television in front of your face. I actually have a pair of these at home, no oh. joke. And I, I paid stand for them, down. paid for them with my own money. I love them, they're okay. so great. Uh, I'm super stoked about the HDMI right. uh, dock that they have for it too now, or box that'll allow you to bring in goodies from HDMI. Anything else you're excited about? Because you're here for a couple more days, right? I am, you know, and I'm just looking for weird stuff. Um, I'm, I'm staying away from the Panasonics and the Sonys and the Samsungs of the world just because right. it's not my forte. I'm, I can't wait to go to all the little Taiwanese right. manufacturers. The and stuff all. around the edges of the show yes. floor, the smaller booths. Yes, anything that's from Taiwan or China that isn't an iPhone case, I'm interested in it. I want to go talk cool. to some semiconductor people. Oh. I, well, actually, I got to go talk to them anyway because I got some things I'm building. That's not something I'm going to I know what you're I'll, building, I'll, and I'll, I'm not going to talk about we'll, it here. We'll talk about it at ShmooCon at the end of the I'm month. I'm going to talk about this. Throw, throw me the helmet. It's it's a LifeProof case. You guys know I love LifeProof case. I was hoping to see an iPad case from LifeProof this year. This is essentially the sealed, dustproof, waterproof, hammerproof, Patrick-proof case. And what you're looking at here is the LifeProof adapter. It's compatible with GoPro mounts. So GoPro has put together a ton of mounts that are available. People like them. If you want an option for something other than a GoPro camera, you can actually use the LifeProof mounts and get a really clean mount onto your system. This is actually shipping now at $29.99, and I think I'm going to get in trouble with this because <laughs> I'm actually riding my bicycle around Las Vegas, which is a hellish experience because there are no bicycle lanes here and limousine drivers are absolutely crazy. And I think somewhere around here is, is the headphones of the show for me so far. If you've heard about the HD, or excuse me, the uh, H H eight hundreds last year, and you thought to yourself, I don't have, excuse me, the H eight hundreds, I don't have sixteen hundred dollars. I like the idea of isolating the speaker from the ear, the transducer, that there's a sophisticated design in here that actually suspends this and locates it so it's blasting in your ear canal. And when I say blasting, I say that with affection. 
This is a lot more affordable. Instead of $1,600, the Sennheiser HD700s are $1,000. It'll be shipping in March. And I won't cry when I hand these back, but I will be a little sad because they sound fantastic. They've done a tremendous job. You can't see actually how deep this is back here, but they did an extraordinary de job designing an acoustic camera that basically A, is designed around the shape of your ear, and B, is deep enough to actually develop really beautiful clean mids and low end extension. I like them, I like them a lot, and I'm going to have to sell something to buy them. Um, which is a conversation I'll have with my wife. We'll be shipping in March, Sennheiser HD 700s, and they are $1,000. Now, one of our partners here, obviously our sponsor, Ford, we're excited about them. The Ford Fusion Energy plug-in hybrid was revealed yesterday. Alan pulled the sheet off and enjoy the Focus Selection Ford's lineup. Jalopnik calls it, my beloved Jalopnik calls it, the world's most efficient car. I'm all in, I'm in a battle between this and the Focus Electric. I want to drive them both. They are very nice. They will make my commute much more affordable. And right now I want to take a moment to thank our friends from Ford. With Sync Services, you can use the power of your voice to stay in control of your Ford Focus driving experience. You can even use Sync to get the current weather report for where you are or where you are going. Sync Services make it happen, all while your hands stay on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Weather. Weather. Press the voice button and say a city and state. San Francisco, California. San Francisco, California. At 2.18 p.m., it's partly sunny and it's 51 degrees with a slight breeze. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Welcome back to Revision 3 Live at CES 2012. Patrick Norton here, joined by the lovely Shannon Morris, Hack5.org. How's it going? It's good. There's a lot of shiny stuff here. There is. Okay, I have plenty of awesome gadgets for you today. Should we start with this one? Let's do it. So this is the Belkin Wemo. It's supposed to be released in summer of 2012, mm -hmm. and it's basically a home automation kit. Yeah. Sorry, I just yeah, saw you it. you heard me. I heard you. I just I was distracted by a shoe that we'll be showing off in a couple seconds. <laughs> so instead of spending like forty two thousand dollars to have somebody wire your home with control for you spend like a hundred bucks and you get this little kit and you get a free app on your iPhone or I believe your Android device works Ooh. as well. And you uh, it, it, you can turn your electronics like your lights and what have you mm -hmm. on and off with just a click of a button on the application. Cool. So basically, I can be anywhere and I can shift the lights around and pretend exactly. I'm home even when I'm traveling, or I can terrify the cat. <laughs> with the motion sensor. So this motion sensor comes as an add-on. It can use be used about 15 feet away, and like anytime your cat goes to the litter box, you can right. set this next to it and have, that would the, be bad. have the lights flash in the on and off real fast. Normally it might be for a knows. hallway light, or, or when you yes. walk in the living room, the lights turn yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to save you energy, and you won't have to worry about turning your lights on and off, or your PC off after you leave the house. Cool. And that's about, is it $100 for the motion sensor and the device, or? Uh, this one is $100, and I think the add-on is $49.99. Pretty good. And summer 2012? Yeah. Summer 2012. Not nice. bad. Oh, and I should mention, it connects as a wireless router, wireless access point, and then you can connect it to your home access point as well. Belkin Smart. Awesome. Belkin Smart. I know, fun. Identity Games Game Changer is coming up. I want to say a special apology to them since I managed to drop one of their demonstration iPads in our pre-show rehearsal. This is cool. This is fun. This is totally fun. I absolutely love this. This is perfect for, you know, the youngins. You could bring it home to your son or your very drunk friends. Just leave it on the <laughs> table and have a really good time. It combines the uses of a board game, like right. totally vintage, and a video game together. So you click on a game, like I'll go into this one, and you set up your board game. Okay. So you have two pieces. You have uh, these and these. And then you start your game. And you have a couple of pieces, so I'll choose those two. And it comes with these four different characters that you can play with. Ooh. Confirm. So we have two characters. I'm the first one to spin. Oh, actually, you are Harry. <laughs> so you spin, and it tells you where to place your piece. So it says, move to any sky region. And sky is over here, so. You flick it down on the motion sensor. Oh, funny. Here, let me see we lay Oh, I probably it put it in the wrong place. Shot. Oh, that's where the sky is supposed to be. <laughs> here, I'll slide your sky and then you over here. you continue to play the game. And you can also use this as an arcade game. So you have one person on this side and another person on that side, and you can battle back and forth. Cool. With a video game on here. Is this expensive? Because this is actually pretty slick the way they've set it's this not. up. It's not. It's $59.99. Can you believe it? I, I, yeah. I am stunned. And it's and available it's... now. It's in retail stores. 
I like it. I do too. Identity it's games, a free app. games changer. It's beautiful. One of my favorites. What is the HZO prototype? Is that the scary shoe? <laughs> it's not the scary shoe. I'll save that one for last. So HZO prototype. Mm -hmm. It's this prototype of a. Um, it's kind of like this this nanofilm technology that they that they want to put into cell phones and into iPads, mm -hmm. all sorts of electronics, to cover the chips and the all the little microprocessors inside of the electronic instead of putting your electronic in some sort of waterproof case so that you don't have to worry about you know wearing around some bulky case you just have this nice nano film covering everything on the inside so you never have to worry about it it's interesting because this was actually came this was the golden shellback technologies invented by some people we met a few years ago really? and it's finally coming to yes, market finally you know they're still looking for manufacturers mm -hmm. and the problem is to make this affordable, they have right. to do it at the manufacturer right. part instead of having you send in your That was the original idea that you, you they, yeah. there was going to be a company, you'd send stuff. Yeah, exactly. The HCO purchase that'd technology. That would be too expensive. So like even in the video, when they pick it up, you can see water dripping right. out. It's so cool. It's like, amazing. I can't wait it, to see that come out. We, they had basically handed us, they, they, they did a, 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 uh, a small like iPod Nano and we left yes. it in a jar for like six weeks full Still of water. Playing. Yes. It's oh, incredible. It's, it's insane. I love it. And we My brother was really interested in it. Everything. Those yes. of us who have, yeah, oh those God. of us who have broken so stuff. <laughs> now, 3D technology, or no, 3D systems. Yes. The 3D cube. Is this? The 3D cube. So, I couldn't necessarily bring in the printer because it's, you know, it's big and bulky. But so this is a this is this is not a 3D printer that you build yourself because you have it's a thousand not. hours to do it. They designed this for the consumer, so you don't have to know how to build your own MakerBot printer or anything like that. You just you go to their website and you download whatever kind of apps for whatever kind of 3D things you want to make, like this shoe, for example. This was printed out of the 3D cube. Yes. This is crazy. Out of the cube. And this is like a plastic film. It's so crazy. you can make anything. Anything you can watch. design, you can make up, and you can actually, you can just see on the tech, actually you can see the layers here, if you turn it to the you side, can. how you it, see the it lays additional the plastic, plastic down. That's cool, and uh, do they have it's a beautiful. price for this? Is this something that we're gonna see sometime so soon? So it's $12.99. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad for a 3D printer for a consumer. I will say that much. It's a little bit expensive for, you know, most guys like me, you know, but. You're not gonna buy it like you just bought a new $100 yeah, exactly. laser printer, but. That means the prices are coming down, things are coming more affordable. Three years from now, we're gonna see that $200. Well, it's crazy, you got 3D systems in here, the, the MakerBot people are here. I think yeah. it's really interesting that tools for creating stuff yourself are showing up in a big way at Me CES too. for a change. This is the kind of stuff that we're gonna see big big time at CES in like two or three years. You are excited. Oh, you're gonna I be making stuff. Excited. There's gonna be crafty jewelry, there's oh, gonna yes, be freaking PC cases. And actually, that allows you to prototype designs for pineapples. I sense Ooh. crazed pineapple designs in the future. <laughs> or devices other than pineapples. Vision3.com like slash Well, hack5.org, of yes. course. Hack5.org is our website, hak5.org. Have you seen any security stuff here? Not really. <laughs> A couple of cloud computing things, but that's about it. When, when you're not watching anime, you're actually doing security hacking. It's yes. pretty amazing. Yeah. Hack5.org is a place to go. A place to go for more Revision 3 coverage at CES. Revision3.com slash CES. We're going to be live again 3 p.m. on Thursday. We want to thank you for watching. Thanks to Ford for sponsoring yeah. all of our Revision 3 coverage. Thank you for watching.